There's no place like home. Oh, these shoes are all wrong. Much too frivolous for the occasion. I apologize, Mr. Haywood. Oh, God. I drank far too much claret last night. Gives me headaches. Burgundy suits me so much better. Well, perhaps you should take an aspirin. Aspirin? Pa! <laughs> Hair of the dog, darling. <laughs> Cure evil with evil. And what about you? It's a little early for me, I think. You're cute. Wait till you have three children. <laughs> so, you're an actress. Clearly, you've never set foot in a theatre, otherwise you'd know my work. I must admit, I am more of a cinema enthusiast. I see. Never cared much for the movies myself. Although, I do have a superb script. My husband wrote it for me. Exposure, his first work of fiction, full of passion. The lead character, moi, is a wonderfully dark part. I know they say I should always play comedy because of my nose. Well, I suppose this murder would give us a lot of advanced publicity and... Do go on. Is any of this really of any importance? I mean, after all, we have our very own Ruth Ellis right under this roof. Ruth Ellis shot her lover, not her husband. Well, either way, she was hanged for it, and rightly so. But are you, are you saying you'd like to see Brenda Leonides hanged? You are twisting my words. How about a blunt question for you, then? What are murderers like? Well, um, you, and me, everyone. Hot-blooded, cold-blooded. They do share one or two traits. Vanity, distorted morality, a lack of empathy. And murderers tend to feel that they are above the rules and laws that govern ordinary mortals. Well, that description fits every member of this family. I don't envy you your job. Nonsense. It's the easiest job in the world. Open and shut. I think I shall go to my room now. It's good of you to have come at all, considering you couldn't even show up at his funeral. I wouldn't have been able to stand it. You heard the weather forecast, you mean? None of us enjoy funerals, but you could at least pretend. After all, you're getting all our money. What kind of spell did you put on that poor, poor sweetie pie? Aristide always loved dancers, you know that. You weren't a dancer. You were a girl on a stage in a bikini. Which doesn't explain why he didn't sign his will. I've said all I have to say to Mr. Hayward. Surely we don't need a P.I. in the house for us all to tell each other the truth. Oh, Matt, isn't that a line from the last of Mrs. Janey? No, it's not. But if you must know, it's from a thriller I did at Frinton. I rest my case. I believe my grandfather was murdered. I believe the killer may still be in the house. Are you Sophia's sleuth? That's the idea. We're a very odd family. They bring out all the evil. What are murderers like? You, and me, everyone. Hot-blooded, cold-blooded. They do share one or two traits. Vanity, distorted morality, a lack of empathy. And murderers tend to feel that they are above the rules that govern ordinary mortals. <laughs> that description fits every member of this family. <laughs>